us. Our boys at Chase Water. You know, we come back to these guys God, every now and again. Man, I tell you. <laughs> this is a serious... I get tired of writing about them, but geez, the wines are good. Seriously, <laughs> class of Zinfandel, and wow, it's got some character in it, maybe because it's Lake County, which is above... Oh, it's the Sierra Foothills, no wonder. I wondered why it had that different character. It's got some chocolate in it, it's got some spice hey, in the finish. Yes. Excuse me, but Sierra Foothills is where Sutter Home made mm. their first Zinfandel, you know, where... where no. Uh, what I mean is, it makes sense to me now because when I first taste, I go, "It doesn't taste like Lake County." Nineteen sixty-eight. <laughs> you know. You notice in the article, folks, go to punchdrink.com and you see an article about the wine of the month club and our tasting regime <coughs> regiment, and uh, and she writes, you know, um, she's a, he'll she's, taste anything and everything, including the crap. She's effervescent. And she says uh, about one wine we tasted together that was from a competitor of ours that says it tastes like cardboard lathered with. Grape jelly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this, what, what I got out of this was, which you don't get a lot of the Zinfandels, you get dark chocolate a little bit, and then this sort of clovey oh, spice. Oh, I get the, the that dark cherry, that strawberry component. You know, a little bit of wood, some vanilla, a little spice. God, at $26, it's a great deal. At, at $16.99, it's, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I mean, my amazing bottle of wine, $99 for me at least. It is a really good bottle. Absolutely I'll go with that. Because you know what? With Zin, it's not too opulent. It's not too acidic. It's not too everything. It's just good balance. Well, that's true. It is good and balance. And it, it doesn't carry the structure. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to have a lot of alcohol, which it probably does, but who cares? 